What's going on YouTube? It's Sebastian here today and we're going to talk about e-commerce, specifically dropshipping and where I see it go, well not really where I see it going, um, kind of what I think is happening right now and what I want you guys to all know about dropshipping, kind of where I think you guys should go and put your time into dropshipping and what you guys should do and all that stuff, so let's just get started. So before we get into that though, I want to talk about um, dropshipping. So a lot of people have been asking me, well Sebastian, you just made a video saying dropshipping's dead. I didn't. I made a video saying AliExpress dropshipping shipping is dying for the fact that shipping times are long. That's just, I truly believe that's a fact. I don't, I, I don't know that I'm very strong with that opinion, but and I have facts to back it up, but that does not mean dropshipping is dead. It doesn't mean Shopify is dead at all. If it was dead, no one would be making money with it, and people are. There's more than one million dollars being spent every 30 seconds a day with or with e-commerce online or just anything being sold online. More than one million dollars spent every single 30 seconds of the day. That's kind of crazy to think of. Uh, so, you know, you only need 0 .000, like 1% to get a decent amount of money made for this whole business or any business online. So, you know, take that into consideration before you watch videos and people say dropshipping overall is dead. And I met someone in town who was actually saying how he would, he heard about this guy Dan DeSilva, who I've talked to Dan a little bit um, on Snapchat, but he was saying how, uh, you know, oh, is dropshipping actually dying? I want to do it and I want to make like an extra thousand bucks a month and I was like oh that's funny that you said that because I actually YouTube about it and stuff um, it was kind of funny but no it's not dying short you know short and simple it's not dying but where do I think we should actually start pushing our money and where should I where should we all start marketing and stuff marketing strategies you guys should start looking into for dropshipping a lot of people have been doing influencer marketing with Instagram and although Instagram is very lucrative you can make a lot of money there are those winning influencers that are still working for many people People aren't looking at other platforms and I'm kind of surprised like I'm kind of I'm kind of let down by society that no one's kind of and then not many people are innovating and making more videos on this And I'm sure I'm gonna say this and now everyone's gonna talk about it And then I'm gonna be like the first person to talk about it and then it's just gonna blow up again um, Like kind of everything happens, but there are more platforms other than just Instagram that you can pay influencers to promote your products There is something called Periscope. I don't know if you guys are familiar Periscope basically is a live streaming platform You can seriously pay someone that has a few thousand uh, live viewers of whatever if they stream nightly um, let's just say someone has 2,000 live viewers okay that means they're super engaged in a streamer okay like not I'm not talking like oh yeah it's a decent like oh I'll go like your photo no it's like they're if they're actually watching you stream they're super engaged in your content and stuff so if you can get to a few influencers on Periscope and pay them to actually promote your products that is huge that's way better than doing a little story post for 24 hours like having someone actually talk about your product right then and there that's freaking huge and no one's talking about that at all so that's a, another platform that you can actually market your products to and someone one of my subscribers said this it's I didn't create this on my own but I was like that's actually genius to do so that's another way you can also market your products rather than just going the traditional route like I feel like people just think that if you don't drop ship from Aliexpress and you don't promote on Instagram or Facebook you can't make money it's like no all you have to keep in mind is you have to have good products that provide true value and you have to have an audience. All That's all you truly need. Like you can literally start a dropshipping store and go talk to people in town and get them to buy your products rather than just marketing online. Like people don't understand. It's not about Instagram or Facebook. We just talk about them because there's such a big audience there. It's, it's literally just audience. You just need to have, you just need to basically see, okay, where is everyone's attention? Okay, let's go see. Oh, people are on Periscope. Let's go see who I can market like what uh, actual Periscope users I can actually promote on or you know YouTube who can I pay to use my product or demonstrate the product or I don't know something like that it's kind of just all about where the attention is honestly I wish people would understand that better rather than just saying like oh Instagram or Facebook that's how that's the only way to market which is not another route we can actually go um, rather than Instagram or Facebook or Periscope I'm surprised people haven't started doing this as well snapchat you can pay big Snapchat users who get like, I don't know, well, let's just say 100,000 viewers a day. You can pay them to post a story of their or of your product and say, oh, swipe up now to go to the site and buy now. That is very lucrative as well. You can profit an immense amount as well. And I'm talking about this because it's not, I, I haven't done Snapchat yet or Periscope. I just heard about it or I just kind of compiled it, but I don't see why it wouldn't work. It's literally just a matter of finding an audience and promoting on the platforms. Another one, Twitter. Literally, Twitter is huge. You can 
can have people retweet products or retweet promotions. So I think that's huge. So let's just say you pay someone with a million followers on Twitter to promote your product. So you tweet, I don't know, whatever, check out this t-shirt and then uh, people who like it or you say retweet for a chance to win a whatever and then you get it to retweet a ton of times and then it goes viral and then you make a lot of money. It's like, it, obviously it's not that simple. It can be a little complicated finding the right winning uh, audiences and influencers, but that's kind of like the gist of running the business. It's just a matter of finding an audience, finding a product that's congruent with your audience and selling to them. That's, that's seriously all you do. Uh, providing value is huge though, but I want to talk about something as well because a lot of people have asked me this and I'm just going to discuss it right now. A lot of people have asked me about print on demand. Obviously, Dan actually made the, he made a lot of videos on print on demand or a few. And so now everyone's talking about print on demand. Sebastian, is print on demand the next thing to go to? Is this how, is this the next big thing that, you know, we're going to make a lot of money in? And I don't know. I haven't done it yet. Um, I, I can't really talk much on it. Uh, I do think it's interesting that you can create products to a niche. So let's say I find a niche on Twitter that is people who like the color red or something. I can create a cool design in red and sell the t-shirt to them or the, a hat to them. Or if they like a certain rap artist, I can get, I don't know, I can make a hat with lyrics on it or something. I don't know. I'm just kind of throwing out ideas, but I can do stuff like that. I think that's very interesting to do because then you're not like, it's not like there's just a set rules and you have to just dig in between the rules. No, with print on demand, you can actually just create your own kind of rules for products and stuff. Like, like there's no, uh, I, the sky's the limit with print on demand. You can kind of just create your own product and sell it to the audience rather than looking at what's already there and kind of picking from what's there. You can just create your own stuff, which is very cool. So if you find audiences on Instagram or Twitter or Periscope that there's no products, you can just create your own with print on demand. Um, we, there's t-shirts, there's sweatshirts, there's hats, there's sweaters, socks, uh, shorts, I'm sure, pants, and the list goes on and on. But I just think that's very cool. So to wrap this video up, dropshipping is not dead at all. Dropshipping has been around, I'm going to guess, for hundreds of years. Uh, the Just the overall principle of um, not even owning a product that you sell, that's just that principle has been around for a while and the business is huge. There's so much money to be made. My dad just is doing something sort of dropshipping, but like it's not even a product. It's just like a service um, and he's like doing it and I don't know, it's kind of complicated so I won't talk about it much, but there's just so much that you can actually do with the whole dropshipping model. It's just a matter of finding an audience, finding a valuable product that people will actually enjoy and that's good quality. I feel like people like fail to think of quality. They just think dollar signs, uh, which is unfortunate, but I mean, other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope I can clear things up with you guys and hope you now understand a little better of how e-com and Shopify and dropshipping is going right now. Um, I'm going to be launching a few new stores this week because I have a lot of time on my hands. Uh, so I'm going to be launching a few new stores and doing some pretty crazy marketing strategies and some pretty crazy products as well. I'll try out print on demand as well. And I will try out Amazon dropshipping, um, not dropshipping on the Amazon platform, but actually sourcing the products from Amazon on my Shopify website. But with that being said, I will see you guys tomorrow and have a good one. Actually, I want to let, or I want to talk to you guys real quick though. So I'm creating a second channel. It's already created. It's called S3B Seb because that's like my license plates and that's kind of, I don't know, I like that name. It's just like simple Seb. I'll put the right there. Um, but I created a second channel and it's actually going to be more of my life rather than just talking about businesses because I feel like people don't understand. Like I, a lot of people think I work every single day, every second of every day. And I really don't. I just work so that I can do what I want in life. I think people over obsess about money too much. Obviously having money is nice, but when you focus on it so much and you're never, ever, ever um, content with, well, I wouldn't say content with life, but I wouldn't, I would say like, we're not grateful for what you have. Um, you start to get lost in like, and you don't really, uh, I don't know, you don't appreciate life as much. Like for me, I, I have money now and I can live very comfortably, uh, kind of do whatever I want, buy whatever I want. And I have money coming in every single day to the point where now I can kind of start doing what I like and what I enjoy. So, you know, I'm making this second channel kind of going to be documenting what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. It's going to be a lot of video game streaming. I'm online streaming. I play Fortnite on Xbox One. Got the elite controller because I'm legit. Um, but I play a lot of Fortnite, so I'll be streaming a lot. So if you guys want to check that channel out, you can subscribe and be ready for a stream. I will be doing a stream, I believe, tonight. Um, it Right now, 
It is like 12 uh, when I'm making this video, 12, yeah, 12 on December 30th when I'm when I'm recording this, so this will probably be up at like hopefully two or so, or three maybe, I don't know, this is a long video. But if you guys do want to support that second channel and watch me stream and stuff, I'm not going to talk about business at all. I don't really want to with that channel. Obviously, everyone needs some form of escapism to kind of, um, you know, balance their life out, so that's going to be mine. But with that being said, link in the description will be for that second channel, so hope to see you guys there if you want to watch me do other stuff rather than just talk about business but with that being said i will talk to you guys soon have a good one and peace out